another thing, let's see here. I'm gonna go here to shapes. And you also have drawing tools inside, inside of the shapes menu. For instance, that's the lightning bolt stitch. If I want to draw an applique design or any other type of design, I can do it here using that shapes, the shapes menu and using, these are drawing tools up here at the top, okay? There, there are six different drawing tools and we're gonna explore those next. So <clears throat> I'm back to my main layout and editing screen. This is my nine and a half by nine and a half inch hoop. And let's say, I'm gonna go to the shapes thing here because I can actually, before I start drawing, I can select what stitch I want to draw with. For instance, maybe I want to draw with a motif stitch, okay? And a motif stitch is another name for a decorative stitch, okay? So let's say I want to draw with, let me pick one of these. I'm gonna pick one I've never used before. I'm gonna pick this one, number motif 061. It kind of looks like a paw print. I'm gonna select that. That's exactly what it is. How cool is that? And here I can change the size of them. They're a third of an inch now. I'm gonna leave that alone for right now. But these other three elements choices right here. Now, the reason I'm seeing all of this down here, I have it set to expert mode. If you turn it to beginner mode, I'm just gonna click on it. Then in beginner mode, all you can do is change the size of the paw print. If you go to expert mode, you have a lot more things that you can manipulate to create, to use it and create something, a stitch that's more original than just using something right out of the box. So, what H arrange does, it moves the stitching to the top of the center line. This one moves it to the bottom of the center line. And this one alternates them. Okay, it didn't have a big, in, this is a preview window right here. So if you look down here, when you click on stuff, you'll see that it, these didn't have that big of an effect, at least in my opinion, they didn't. So we'll leave it on the first one. The V arrange is for, stands for vertical. So here, notice here on this one, they're, the toes are going to the right. If you click on the middle one here, it was just, it's like flipping the design for lack of a better word. Now the toes are going in the opposite direction. And if you click on icon number three under V arrange, they will actually make mix them up every other one, as you can see there. Kind of cool as well. So actually, then you can change the spacing and the offsets in these two windows. The run pitch, I would not mess with that simply because what that does, that changes the distance between the needle drops. And you really don't want to do that. You're more than welcome to play with it if you want to. The cool thing is if you ever do change this, so with my cursor highlighted over run pitch, you can see the that is the actual horizontal spacing of needle drops across the design. So if we just move this up, let's put it up to one, one inch, okay? Notice what it did here. Notice what it did here it actually made those spaces further apart. So, and never worry to get back to where you originally were, all you have to do is click on one of the, the black house boxes and it, so that sends it back to its default setting. So I'm gonna leave all of this alone for right now and I'm gonna come back over here. I have my lightning bolt drawing tool selected and I'm just going to create a box using the paw print motif 
maybe I want to create a quilt label. It wasn't that cute. So, and here they are, I had them set staggered for, so every other one went a different direction. Let's put it back to one direction. And I want to select this first. So I'm going to double click on it. There we go. Now I can adjust that and it will apply it to that. Now the little paw prints are going in this direction. If I go to my home screen and I zoom in, you're gonna see, better see what I'm talking about here. See those little paw prints. When you get in close enough and you see all those black boxes, that's actually where the needle is going to, is going to drop in the fabric to create this design. So when you get close enough to a design, you can see it's a series of zigzag stitches that creates this. Pretty cool. But let's get it back to its original view right there. So the point I'm trying to make with this, once you get it, you can use any motif stitch you want to and the drawing tools inside of our shapes icon on our home menu to actually draw with stitches. You don't just have to draw with a straight line, you can draw with stitches and that's pretty darn cool. So next, let's play with this one here. This is a pencil closed curve, okay? So first, I'm just gonna create new. I'm not gonna save anything. Then I'm gonna go up here to shapes and I'm gonna cl click on this one here. Now, the stitches it's selected is the motif stitch, which is my bear paw, if you look over here, or dog paw, whatever you want to call it. And then for the region, it has the net fill stitch. So here, what's going to happen is to, in wherever I draw, it's going to make a closed design that will fill the interior with whatever is selected in this, net, in this bottom menu. So maybe I don't want the net fill in there. Maybe I just wanted to fill it in with a stippling stitch. And now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna draw, and this is all free motion. And wherever that, zigz that dotted line is, I'm just gonna try my best to draw a circle. And when I let go of it, I haven't met my beginning line yet, but when I let go of it, it automatically closes, applies my motif stitch and my decorative fill directly to that. Pretty cool, right? So let's clear that out one more time. I'm not gonna save that. I'm gonna do it again. This time to better illustrate how that works, I'm gonna create the letter C. And I'm not going to go any closer. Now, when I let go, it's going to finish my shape and fill it in with that decorative fill. I just let go of the cursor and see what it did. It filled this in with my motif stitch, and then it added the stippling all to the interior. Now, while this is here, if I come back over here to the right, I can actually increase the spacing in between my decorative fill. For instance, right here, it's set the spacing as 0.2. Let's put it up to 0.333, which is a third of an inch. And the only reason I didn't change it, I did not have it selected. So we're going to go here. I'm gonna pick up my cursor, I'm gonna double click on this. Now that it's selected, I can come over here and change it. 0.33. And now you can see it just automatically changed it to a wider fill, a wider stippling, okay? So whatever settings, you, whatever motif and Sibling stitch you have selected is what you can draw with, but you can always go back in after it's drawn and change it later to a different decorative fill 
or stitch out pattern. So we're going to clear this one. I'm not going to save it. Excuse me. And now I'm going to pick, so that was this one here. That is a closed curve. This is a closed curve as well. So we're going to click on this and see what the difference is. So if I just notice, this will actually curve and arc it, OK? The other one was freehand, the one I just showed you. This is actually, now, I've clicked on it once, so I can still create arcs. If I double click on it, it just closed all of that in and made that little design right there. So I'm just going to undo that, and we're going to do this again. So the first time you click, and I don't have my mouse button pressed down, I clicked once. Then you can rotate this and click one more time. And that anchored it. Now when you move your mouse, it's going to bend that first line you made. See how that's bending right there? And when you get it bent to where you would want it, do one more click. And it's got a very faint draw, uh, dotted line back up to its beginning point. If I double clicked, it would close it. But maybe you want to add some more. So I'm just going to draw it out here. Move it on further away. Single click, move it again. And when I rotate it back, I can add a nice smooth curve to it. I'm going to double click it. And you can see it kind of made a footprint almost. Depends how you look at it. Pretty cool. And when you're in this, this window right here, there's all your drawing tools. That center one is the one we just used, Close Curve. The one we used prior to this was the Pencil Close Curve. It does it freehand. This first one here is a closed straight line. So we're going to click on that next. We're going to leave our little item right up here. And what this does, one click, you get that dotted line that you can move anywhere you want. Click it again. Now, what happens, it works very similar to the one we just used, but it will not make a curved line. This is more like a polygon, OK? And if I cl double click it here, it'll finish off the design and fill in with everything we just did up there. Notice over here, I now have four steps in my sewing order, OK? And just to reiterate, this is the pencil close shape. So when you go like this, that was one click. And when you release it, it finishes off that shape. Over here, you can keep clicking and changing the curvature of the design. But over here, it's all freehand. Okay. The other shape we used was this one. And that is the lightning bolt. And you can tell which tool you have selected by looking at your cursor and the shape attached to it. There's the lightning bolt. So if I just go that start it there, click once there, and double double click it. Now I clicked once, so it added on another dotted line. If I didn't want to go any further with that line, I could just double click it. And it adds a line of paw prints wherever I want to draw a line at. Okay. This line, this S curve, watch what happens with this. One click, I get a straight line. A second click, it, it lurks just like this one up here, but it's not a closed shape. So you can just make up all kinds of curved lines 
without having to have it close. That would not have done that up here. So this is a, just an open design. And I just actually made the letter S out of little, little puppy dog prints. There's one more drawing tool. We have six available, whereas on our machines, we only have four. So this is a pencil open curve. Let's click on that one. And what that's gonna do, we're gonna draw. And then when we release it, it's done. Now on this one, when we draw it and releases, it closed it and then filled in. This we're just drawing lines. For instance, let's do it again over here. We'll do the letter C, release, and there it is. That's how I drew this one. I drew the letter C and released, then it closed it and applied a fill to it. So a lot of really great tools right there. You can do so much with this. There's a, a lot of stitches in the motif. Next week, I'll show you how to create your own motif stitch that you can use to draw with or to use wherever in palette that you want to. Another fun stitch to use to draw with is the candle wicking stitch. And let's see, which one do we have selected? We have this one selected. So let's say you just wanted to add, add some candle wicking stitches. Let's put some through here, curve it down to here and stop. I just added a curved line of candle wicking. I want some to come this way. And then back, stop. Maybe over here and up. Oops, went off the table. <laughs> it still did it, so I wouldn't be really thrilled with that one, so I would just control C that one away and just do it over. There we go. So as you can see, you can create some really abstract art to stitch out using these drawing tools and a lot of the different drawing stitches here in palette. I'm going to create a different one this time. Let's do, let's do, I want to do off the fill. So I'm going to do the S curve again. Got out of space, eh? Do one more. There we go. And that was just the chain stitch. That's what I selected for that one. So that's a lot of fun to do. And of course, uh, with the sewing attributes turned on, you can change the direction of those stitches, turn it from a triangle on the chain stitch to a diamond. There's your preview of what that stitch out would look like. All kinds of fun things to do there. Okay. So now I'm gonna click on <clears throat> my flower petal up in the upper left corner and new, and I'm not gonna save that.